Today in this lecture we are going to discuss the non salt sensitive and salt sensitive hypertension both of which are basically uh, types of primary or essential hypertension or uh, hypertension of unknown cause which we have discussed in detail in last lecture now we have discussed this thing that even in the hypertension of unknown cause or the primary or essential hypertension there is some role of kidney so we are uh, just uh, trying to explain this role of kidney in primary or essential hypertension and both of its type that are the non salt sensitive and the salt sensitive hypertension we have previously discussed in detail the renal function curve the renal function curve we discussed previously that in the renal function curve we plot the intake of the salt and intake and output of the salt on the y axis here and we plot the arterial pressure on the uh, x axis the point at which the intake of the the point at which the intake of salt is equal to the uh, output of the salt the point at which the intake of salt is equal to the output this for example this line is showing the here is it is showing the intake of salt and at the same level we have the output now the point at which both of these meet together normally that is normally considered as the uh, the normal arterial pressure level now we see that in the hypertension that is the primary or essential hypertension we see that the curves of both types of the hypertension whether it's a salt sensitive or it's not salt sensitive salt sensitive the red color is basically showing the non salt sensitive hypertension and the blue color is basically showing the salt sensitive hypertension both of these types of hypertension the curves of both these types are basically shifted towards the right now here this green line this is arterial pressure this is arterial pressure of a normal person if we see that with normal intake of salt this is now showing the intake of salt so here at this level if the intake of salt is at this level at this level the arterial pressure of a normal person is around 100 mm of mercury if we increase the salt intake if we increase the salt intake the arterial pressure the arterial pressure of a normal person the arterial pressure of a normal person will will still remain at around 100 mm of mercury there will be maybe a slight movement but ideally there will be no change in the arterial pressure of a normal person with normal intake of salt or high intake of salt but if we see in the uh, essential hypertension we have two types in both the types in both the types although the there is the, there is increase in the arterial pressure if we see at this point there is an increase in arterial pressure and the arterial pressure the curves the curves have moved toward the right side with normal intake of salt even with normal intake of salt the curves have moved to this point and the arterial pressure is high it may be around 130 or 135 and here we have the normal intake of salt now if we increase the intake of salt we will have two types of primary essential hypertension both of these curves have shifted toward the right side on the normal intake of salt but if the salt intake is increased to around four times to around this point then we see that the salt sensitive hypertension has increased it has shifted toward this point 
it has shifted toward this point or it has shifted more toward the right side to around 150 millimeter of mercury so the salt sensitive hypertension has increased more with the increase in the intake of salt but the non salt sensitive hypertension it has moved slightly towards this right side but it has not moved that much so it has remained around that point so both of these patients they are basically two different patients both of them have the primary essential hypertension but one has got a salt sensitive that basically increases with the increase in salt intake but the other is having non salt sensitive hypertension which is not increasing that much with the intake with increasing the intake of salt but the the thing is that this sensitivity this salt sensitivity is not fixed some people may have a salt sensitive hypertension or some may have non salt sensitive hypertension but with the increasing age the increasing age these non salt sensitive people these people with non salt sensitive hypertension may develop salt sensitive hypertension they may develop salt sensitive hypertension now why different different people have different types of this primary essential hypertension it may be because of the age factor it may be uh, because of the age factor or it may be due to the type of pathology or injury in kidneys so depending upon the type depending upon the age and depending about upon the type of injury that is present in the kidney some people with essential hypertension may be salt sensitive and some of them may not be salt sensitive but the thing is that the non salt sensitive people may become salt sensitive if they reach a certain age or if they develops a certain pathology the point is the point to make is that there uh, we have discussed that the reason the reason for primary essential hypertension is not known but there are some factor which play different role in developing primary essential hypertension and the the damage to the kidney is one of that factor and by by bringing on that damage in the kidney or by increasing or decreasing the or by increasing age that uh, that type of hypertension may change from one form to another so the 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 reason for explaining it with the help of this graph is that to calculate the amount of risk different type of people is having if someone is having non salt sensitive hypertension then that person may not avoid a lot of salt but a person with salt sensitive hypertension must avoid that increased salt intake to avoid increase in arterial pressure so that's all about the non salt sensitive and salt sensitive hypertension thanks a lot for watching the video